Today we are going to have a look at how to prove that a line is a tangent to the circle. I'm going to remind you firstly that a tangent is a line that only touches the circle once instead of cutting through the circle twice. To prove that a line is a tangent to a circle, we are going to use the converse of our tangent theorems that we know. So the first theorem that we are going to have a look at is we know that a tangent is always perpendicular to the radius. So if we can prove that the line we need to prove is a tangent is perpendicular to the radius by using other geometry, we can say that that line will be a tangent. The reason for this theorem, line perpendicular to radius, we cannot use the word tangent yet because that is what we are proving. Our second theorem is the theorem that says the angle that is formed between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle in the opposite circle segment. So if there's a line that we need to prove is a tangent and we can prove that the angle formed by this line and a chord is equal to the angle in the opposite circle segment, we can say that that line is a tangent to the circle. And my reason here is converse tangent chord theorem. Example one. In the sketch, O is the center of the circle. And we are asked to show that AB is a tangent to the circle at point B. And although it clearly looks like AB is a tangent, we need to prove it using geometry theorems. So in our sketch, we were given that angle O is 50 degrees and angle B is 40 degrees. So using interior angles of a triangle, we can then go and calculate the size of angle A1. So here we can now say that angle A1 is 90 degrees and because it's 90 degrees, we can see then that AB is perpendicular to the radius OA and therefore AB is a tangent. The reason we need to give is line perpendicular to radius. Example two. In the sketch, CD is a tangent to the circle ACE at C. We are also given that BE is parallel to CD and that CEF forms a straight line. We are asked to prove that CEF is a tangent, but now to the circle AEB. So if we were to draw a circle around point A, point B and point E, we need to now prove that CEF will be a tangent to that circle. So in this question, we don't have any radii, we don't have any diameters, so there's no theorem we will be able to use with a 90 degree angle like the previous one. But in this case, we do have information about the parallel lines and the tangent to the original given circle. So I'm going to start with what was given. Because of the tangent CD, we can form the angle between the tangent and chord CE. And right across from that, we can form angle A. So we know that they are equal. We can also say that angle C1 is equal to angle E1 with our alternating angles. And this means we can make the conclusion that angle A will also be equal to angle E1. If you now go and focus on our new circle going through A, B and E and line CEF that we need to prove is a tangent, that line CEF and chord BE form angle E1. Across from that chord BE, we have angle A, and we've just proven that those two angles are equal. So we can now immediately say, therefore, CEF will be a tangent to the circle, and our reason is converse tangent chord theorem. So in our first step, we used the tangent chord theorem because we were given that CD is a tangent. And right at the end, 
and we used the converse tangent chord theorem because we've proven that line CEF is a tangent.